My name is Ethan Strimling. I'm a former Democratic state senator. This is my colleague Phil Harriman, former Republican state senator. Today, the Supreme Court ruled that privately held companies do not have to provide contraception under the Affordable Care Act. Last week, as we heard, they also ruled that protesters cannot be held back around abortion clinics with a buffer zone. From my sense of this, Phil, I think there's going to be some serious political implications in the fall. These are a couple very big decisions uh, that affect women's lives, and I think both of us agree women are going to be a, a cornerstone in the election in Maine. There's no, no question about it, and it, what we're seeing is the Supreme Court interpreting the Constitution around these very narrow, specific uh, items, but the political scientists who are there to influence you and how you vote in the fall have got a lot of fodder to work with. I can see the ads now that uh, electing, say, Bruce Poliquin to Congress is another vote for the Supreme Court against women's issues. Well, it will be, I would say. <laughs> so yes, they will. And, and I think that's absolutely right, because remember, also here in the state of Maine, LePage vetoed a bill that would have expanded health care for women. So I think a lot of the women's rights groups, a lot of the women's health groups are going to be saying, look, buffer zones are taken away, contraception taken away, expanded health care taken away, all of these by conservative Republicans. Republicans, that you need to go to the, the ballot box and vote for Democrats. I, I don't have any doubt that's going to be a big push by the operatives on my side. Well, and as you just so eloquently stated, as, as the champion for the Democratic side, you've just made the ad for them. How many of the viewers of this are going to step back and say, well, didn't Governor LePage veto this because we don't have the money to pay for it? It's going to be pretty tough to answer a logical question with the emotional message that you've put out there in an attempt to influence voters. Well, I think it's just where your logic lies. Maybe he did it around cost, but I think women are going to be saying to themselves, logically, three big decisions, three big strikes against us. We need to do something. None of which were done legislatively. Except one. <laughs>